Do you feel that your music has changed? Well, I mean, when you grow as a person, you're going to grow as an artist too. And definitely, my I'm a little bit more inspired by hip hop and R&B music. So I think I've kind of gone in that direction and rock music as well. And I mean, you have to realize that the definition of pop music is popular music. It doesn't necessarily have to be categorized in one way. It, it's bottom line popular music and whatever that is. How do you come up with a song? Well, really, when you write a song, um, it just, I mean, you either come there with the concept of what you want the song to be about, or for those um, songs, we just came in and we just vibed and we didn't even, weren't even, we didn't even have a concept. Um, actually, I wrote those songs with Josh and Brian and they're new up and coming producers. Actually, they wrote a lot with Aaron Carter. Brian, he'll get on, he got on the little beatbox machine and was playing around with it and then I'll just start singing a melody, you know, and then we'll just lay it down. They're like, oh, that's cool. Let's do that. And that's what happened with Lonely too. Do you think your voice has changed? I think actually my voice has gotten a little bit deeper. And so um, when I sing, I can't necessarily hit the higher notes that I used to be able to, but then my lower register, it's a lot more pleasant to the ear. You know, it's more of a soulful feel, I think. How do you choose what you wear? (laughs) My stylists are amazing, you know, but, and they help me a lot with what I do, but I do make sure whenever I have a war show or something that I have to do, I do not want them to just come with clothes. I, they have to know what I'm into. So before I start doing photo shoots or magazine shoots and stuff like that, I make sure I get with them when we go shopping together at the beginning of the year and they get a vibe of what I like. So, And I've been looking, I mean, I get inspiration from magazines and stuff like that. What's the best part about what you do? Probably um, being able to do what I love to do. Really, just being able to sing on stage, and I, sometimes I can't even believe it's a job, you know, that what I do. Um, just being able to sing on stage and be able to touch so many people like that and to dance and being an entertainer, you know, that's the best thing about what I do. How do you feel about being a role model? I don't really see myself as a role model, you know. I mean, people may view me as being that way. But when I'm on stage, that's my time to express myself and to be something quote-unquote that I'm not but when I get off the stage I'm just like everyone else. What is the song Overprotected about? I think um, every teenager or every person kind of goes through that stage in their life from being 15 to 22 where like for example my friends at home right now they're going off to college and their parents are worried about them you know they want to make sure they're in at this certain time they just you know they're just a little bit overprotected you know and they just trying to get across to their parents that they're becoming adults you know my mom she she kind of has a problem with me being as independent as I am right now and she you know she wants me to be her little girl forever and I think yeah you know and my dad the same thing but um so that's basically what the song's talking about how do you relax? Um, if I'm stressed out about something, usually I can't hold it in, so whatever I'm stressed out about, I have to call the person and get the release out. I feel sorry for them. <laughs> um, or I'll go, I'll sing, or take a bath, um, get a massage, stuff like that. What's it like to write your own songs? That, honestly, that it's a good thing for me to write more. I mean, it's I've realized what, how fun the process of being so creative in writing is and that I want to do a lot more of it. What are your hobbies? I like writing a lot. I do that a lot. Um, I read a lot of books. I do that. Um, And I'm really into massages right now. Does the press bother you? Honestly, the world talks about me and I've just really come to the conclusion that that's what goes along with what I do. You know, and you can't help that. And at the end of the day, You know in your heart what's true and what's not, and that's all that matters. And the people around you that you really love and that you care about, they know what's true too, and that's what matters. Whose idea was the style of your new album? Well, it really wasn't anybody's idea. It's not like, well, I'm going to sing this style of music now, man. You know, we just, you know, for this album, I just worked with these producers, and I was like, you know what? Don't be scared. I want you just to really experiment and just throw everything out there. Let's just be creative and just see what we come up with. And that's what we did on I'm a Slave for You. And because it is so different, 
I love it so much I'm willing to take that chance, you know, just to see how it does. What gave you the idea for the name of the album? Um, I think probably because on the first two albums, I, they were Britney Spears and they had, you know, like Baby One More Time, Oops, I did it again, and I'd never just had the simplicity of just Britney, and I think it just fit for this album. What's the album about? Really, the album's just a reflection of me, really, and what was going on inside my head at that time and what I was feeling. And I think this album, like, every song has its own thing, you know? The flow of it, and there's so many different moods on the album, but generally it's very upbeat, and it's, you know, it's what I was going through at the time, so hopefully people can relate to it a little bit. Where does the music on Britney come from? I just wanted to work with different producers and experiment with some different people, and that's the kind of music that I'm kind of into right now, and just made sense for me to go in that direction. Yeah. What's your favorite song on the album? Well, my favorite song out of those is probably Boys, because I just think it's funky and different, and just you want to dance when you hear it.